those are the standings. So we have just the uh, heavyweight bout to go. We're uh, jumping all around with the weight categories today. It's uh, a little bit different in uh, the finals. It was agreed between the two teams. That's how they wanted the order. So it'll be uh, Abdul Qadir Abdulayev up against Erislandi Savon, one of the biggest names in boxing. Not least because his uncle is a six times world champion, Felix Savo. So, uh, still one massive bout to come. comes Eris Landy Sabol. On for the uh, under 91 kilo category, the heavyweights this time. He has fought in the super heavies. He did in 2012 at the London Olympics when he was one of the big favorites to go and take gold, but ended up losing to Anthony Joshua of England, 17-16, in uh, what was a, a somewhat controversial bout. A lot of people thought the Cuban had got it, but Joshua got the nod and, of course, went on to win gold. He has won uh, the Youth World Championships, did that in Guadalajara in Mexico back in 2008. And, of course, has that fabulous pedigree that his uncle has bestowed on him. 6-0 in the WSB this season. Three wins by points, two TKOs, and one... Big old knockout, and uh, that was uh, in week seven against Lukas Zygmunt. This is the man he's up against, uh, Abdul Qadir Abdulayev. WSB record nine and three, and he's a big hitter. Three TKOs, two KOs. And this season he KO KO'd Clemente Russo, who. Uh, well, is a legend, and uh, that word gets bantered around a lot, but Russo really is a uh, world champion, multiple world champion. So, Erislandi Savon, a lot of people will be favoring him, the world rank number one for this bout. The Cuban in the blue corner, but he's up against a power puncher in uh, Abdul Qadir Abdulayev. Well, just looking at the phytonomics of this, Eris Landy Savon, three big, big bouts on his record, two TKOs and one KO, Abdullayev, two TKOs, two KOs. These boys hit big, and, uh, well, it's going to get absolutely rough and ready when the big boys come out to play. Slight height advantage to Savon, but uh, Abdullayev will make up for that in no short order <laughs> by uh, <laughs> aggression and power. Well, the two losses on... Uh, Abdullayev's record this season have both come to Vasily Levitt of Kazakhstan. Both on points, both uh, very narrow losses as we're underway then in round one. Five three minute rounds to go. Savon, the uh, tall, rangy Cuban, the nephew of uh, the great Felix Savon. Against this Aziri in the black and fiery shorts, Abdullayev, who uh, the Aziri crowd will be hoping to make it uh, 3 2. Uh, well, not in their favour, but not 4-1, which is what it could become going into tomorrow. Well, already Savon has the measure of Abdullayev. Deep, deep stance, uses the left to get the range right, but uh, that deep stance gets him out of trouble. Rangy fighter, the work rests with Abdullayev. He's got to close that distance and get on the inside if he's going to do anything meaningful here. But uh, one thing that Savon has that's very, very foxy, that deep stance, he draws his man in and then brings that left hook round almost blind. We've seen a whisker of it uh, early on in this bout, in the beginning of the first round here. But uh, let's just see, it's almost in slow motion he delivers that payload. 
Here's the left hook. And almost leans down to deliver it. And, uh, Savon has this way about his work. It almost looks as if it's in slow-mo. Um, but that's where the power lies. Smooth delivery. Just look at him evade in and out, back in off the ropes. And Abdullaya really has got his work cut out here. Almost to a man, the Cubans have been taller, rangier. The uh, Aziris have been uh, more bull-like, charging in in uh, the way they box. Two different styles, two different types of boxers. And uh, it makes for a, a really exciting night. Abdullayev has this ability in his punches when he lands them. They really do hurt. It's almost a delayed reaction. And uh, we've already seen it. Abdullayev just uh, blinked a couple of times and had to take stock as he got tagged with lightning shots from Savon, but they are just scathing. Heavy, heavy hands. He's one of these punchers that really, you look and you think, he did that with that? Very, very heavy hands. And just look at the eyes and the face of Savon. The computer's whirring away there, the hard drive. And, uh, well, this might not go the distance. Abdullayev, definitely the kind of fighter that the old point system did not suit. No headgear, knockouts. Well, that's uh, the kind of fighting he enjoys, and goodness me, he's had his eye bust open. That was the shot that did it, that right hand, and again, it just did, it looked innocuous, but it was hard enough to cause the problems. And Abdullayev has been tagged by a couple of shots. He got hit by an uppercut, notwithstanding that left hand there. There's the uppercut, and just on the way in, he gets caught, and Savon, it almost looks as if it's in slow-mo, and it doesn't mean anything, but they really did hurt. Well, spot on with the judges there, 10-9 across the board. No one could argue that. Erislandi Savon, well, surgeon-like, just slicing through the guard as uh, the Aziri came steaming in time and time again. And that's what he's got for uh, his efforts. A cut over uh, the right eye at the moment to the side of the eye. Let's hope it doesn't get any bigger and start dripping into the eye. Well, that's when uh, we could have problems. So, back out, round number two. No, Sandy Savant, the Cuban, a round up at the moment. Well, if you were to make a list of all things good about Savant, he's got strength, precision, poise, timing, range. It's kind of a rough draw, really, isn't it? <laughs> Abdullayev, because at the moment, Abdullayev has got a cut over his right eye. He's been tagged, he just doesn't have an answer to deal with Savon. And, uh, well, the, the argument there is, uh, you know, a poor call for the Aziri. But uh, he's tough, he's gritty, but uh, I think it's one hand clapping against Savon. Yeah, he really does use his range well, and Savon, he's not going to get caught into a, a big dust-up in the centre like Toledo. He's not going to be knocking head-to-head -head with this man. That would be uh, folly. He's going to use that. Great long reach of his. He's so accurate. And there seems to be a presence about Savon. There's a conservative element about his work. There's no wasted shots. He's not moving for the sake of moving. Everything is measured. Everything is valuable. And um, that's why... <laughs> Abdullayev just cannot make that middle ground across the ring because every flinch of Savon means that there's pain waiting for Abdullayev at the end of it. There's no fainting, no dodging, just everything that Savon does is, is, is meaningful. Well, some people have called uh, Savon the best pound for pound boxer in the WSB in season four. And uh, we're getting to really see his uh, brilliance here as that cut is getting uh, a little bit worse. So uh, the uh, Aziri being sent to the corner to have it looked at. The clock stopped at one minute five of round two. It would be a real shame if this 
championship tournament so crucial with two apiece on the standings board were to be stopped because of a cut but I don't think this bodes well especially with another three rounds to go I mean Savon is a joined up clever fighter I don't think he'll target the eye of Abdullayev but I just don't think a cut like that is going to get better yeah, some crafty boxing there from Savon as the Aziri came charging in and had him against the ropes he used his height advantage and just leaned on top of him tiring him out tying in his hands Savon does it again he turns and puts that left hook on he's using the ring brilliantly and when you think of the size of the man I mean he's skipping around and dodging those shots just like a little flyweight Again, the eye of Abdullayev opening up here Savon just so in control here it's unbelievable well, less than 10 seconds to go of round two Big uppercut there, rocked the head of Abdullayev on the inside. Well, once again, uh, a good Cuban uppercut to uh, an Aziri as he came charging in. We've seen that so often as we look back here over the round. One that will go to the Cuban, I'm sure. Well, yeah, this was great work all the way from Savon. He just kept out of range. And just look at the power that he can unleash. I mean, that really turned the head of Abdullayev. And Abdullayev not managing to land any shots of his own. I mean, it's got to be a clear round in favour of Savon. Yeah, 2018 across the board there. And well, what do you say to a fighter in this position? Two rounds down, you've got a cut in your eye. He goes charging in, he gets tagged. If he stands away with those long arms, he'll get tagged. Uh, it, it's a sort of no-win situation at the moment. I guess he's got to go out there and just try and knock out Savon. That's the only thing he can do. Well, I think there's an element to this where Abdullayev probably, by doing what he's doing, employing the tactic that he's employing, there's a point where Eris Landy... Savon will say I've hit you with everything I've got and I still can't stop you and that's the turning point when he has to start thinking about his work and then Abdullayev has found a way to unlock the door but uh, you know it's a that's a risky game it's a risky strategy yeah if he even has the gas left to turn the key that's the thing you know it, it's it's uh, he's really charging in there and if anything Savon is looking uh, far fitter at the moment but now we're seeing a little change of emphasis in Abdullayev's work. They've got in control of the cut, and Abdullayev just a little bit more purposeful here. Making Savon miss. Putting Savon under pressure. And uh, so Savon's psychology is, I've hurt you, I've opened up your eye, it's the third round and you're coming at me stronger than the first. So the psychology starts to work here. And just look at Abdullayev now, really come into this aggressively. And uh, the mechanics of Savon must be thinking, this isn't on the script. Well, gets him with a couple of good right hands, though. And I think uh, that first minute of uh, energy that the Aziri had is starting to wane away again. As Savon comes in, gets a good clean shot and backs away again. Live, still working, trying to get his shots in, some good midsection work. He's just got to cover so much distance. Well, Savon starting to liven up his act now, and that eye of Abdullayev starting to become problematic towards the end of this round. Look at that jab, flicks it up from his hip right through the guard of the Aziri. Great speed for such a big man, Savon. And the referee's getting in the way of Savon when he starts to move, but it's the distance he can cover, and the legs. Just look at the length of the legs, and uh, turns on a sixpence. Well, the skill and the rhythm, just another level from Savon. And the Cubans, well, they've always been charged with that... Uh, tag that they were you know very skillful as a boxing nation but uh, 
this is almost a dance. It's almost beautiful to watch. And I'd go so far as to say that this bout has been like a ballet, except the dancers wear gloves and have hit each other. Certainly Savon is up on his toes. <laughs> I'm not so sure either. Uh, Abdulayev's performance is uh, balletic as we see him coming charging in here again this is when uh, Savon once again just keeps tagging him in the exchanges turns him nicely there well, yeah absolutely on the ropes brought his man in drew him in turned him punished him 27 30 across the board end of round three two to go and uh, the writing is on the wall for uh, a win for the Cubans, unless Abdulayev can somehow come out and turn this around. It means it he'll need at least a 10-8 round from all of the judges, a clearly dominant round, or uh, maybe a, a knockout. And that's uh, only going to come from one of these big bombs. So he's got to get inside Savon's reach and make this happen. Six minutes to do it. So out for the penultimate round. Well, the tango continues. Abdullayev just getting a little bit more aggressive, trying to close the ring down. I think Samuel was suggesting a, a low blow there, wasn't he? This has been really tough. Abdullayev, what a tough day in the office. Savon just so in control, relaxed, and unfazed by anything that Abdullayev brings to this. Once again, he comes out at the start of the round, looking pretty sprightly here, and full of energy, Abdullayev. Crowd getting behind Abdullayev now. Really throwing caution to the wind here now, putting his whole body behind these shots. Savon still not being pressurized here. And it's been a gutsy performance from Abdullayev. He just hasn't had a strategy that's been slick enough to take Savon out of the game really. Savon again on the turn, puts the left hand in. And just standing off Savon, almost inviting Abdullayev to uh, come in into the parlour. Uh, once in there, turns into the hurt locker. Big right hand and it almost knocks Abdullayev off his feet. Yeah, uh, came in uh, flailing away there, Abdullayev. Almost uh, throwing himself off balance with some of these big bombs, but I guess that's what he's got to do. There's uh, Magomedrasu Medzidov, the uh, world champion, super heavyweight. The, Aziri cheering on his uh, sparring partner and friend, hoping he can find some miracle turnaround here. 20 seconds to go in round four. And I just want to remind everybody watching the height of these two men. Abdullayev, 190 centimetres, and Savon, 192 centimetres. These men are not far off seven foot, and uh, that's what I meant about... Uh, you know, the balletic grace with which they've employed. There's the belt. It's a huge round for Savon. Abdullayev, really one hand clapping here. Try to bring it, try to bring some new momentum to the fourth round. But uh, just look at that. Savon, as soon as he feels pressurized, closes it down. And these punches, you're uh, more accustomed to seeing them in MMA as Superman punches, aren't they? As he jumps off the ground, diving at Savon to get past his reach. Well, Abdullayev, 10-9 across the board. Well, maybe not quite game on. He's still two points down on each of the judges' scorecards. But 
There is a glimmer of hope here in the final round. If he can pull off a 10-8 round, really dominate, maybe shake the Cuban early on and uh, follow up with some extras, then uh, he uh, could possibly pull this back. Well, absolutely. This is the WSB, and it's a WSB final championship. So much at stake here, and, uh, you know, it gives rise to that expression, it ain't over till it's over. But the fifth and final round, Boris Landy, Savon, takes on Abdullayev, Abdul Kadir. Another good uppercut there by Savon. As Abdullayev comes lunging in. Oof, good solid left hand there. And uh, well, Abdullayev looking just ever so slightly crash test dummy. That Medzidov, champion at super heavyweight. Formidable figure shouting from the side of the ring. And uh, his sparring partner is turning this on a little bit. He's got a, a few good punches in here. Just over two minutes to go. It's uh, not enough to win around 10-8, but he uh, might pinch it back 10-9 unless one of those land and right on the nose with a left. Abdullayev brings it, but Savon returns it with heat. And, uh, Abdullayev slowly over the five rounds, getting beat like he stole something. Takes a standing count, and that's the death nail in the coffin of Abdul Qadir Abdullayev's title challenge here. Yeah, he uh, shook his head there. He wasn't happy with that. Certainly doesn't seem too phased. Having said that, did you see his legs there? Uh, looks like uh, they're starting to turn to uh, jelly underneath him with uh, just over a minute to go. He's certainly going to leave everything out here on the canvas, the Aziri. If he's going to be beaten by one of the greats in the WSB, then he's at least going to give it a go. Just a quick shot there of the Cuban team. Watching with interest. Savon starts to dance. Starts to showboat a bit and show us the skills. You have to give Abdullayev credit he's really brought everything to this he went down to the basement brought up the toolbox and had everything out of there just wasn't enough and uh, well at this stage you have to say you're so Eris Landy Savon you don't even know it what a class performance just over 10 seconds to go again a huge swinging punch there from the Aziri and the Cuban knows better than to uh, get in a rumble in the dying seconds. A few more jabs, all at range, and it's surely a victory for Cuba. A magnificent showing once again by uh, Erislandi Savon, this tall, rangy, undefeated Cuban, has, I think, given the lead in the overnight position to the Cubans. It was two apiece coming into this heavyweight bout. Of course, we've got five more tomorrow, including uh, the super heavyweights. And if it is uh, needs be, then we would go to a tie break bout, as we had last year in the WSB finals, when uh, Kazakhstan managed to uh, raise the trophy. Well, the official announcement to be made, in fact, the official decision to be made. Judge 1, 46, 49. Judge 2, 46, 49. Judge 3, 46, 49. 46, 49 is unanimous. Iceland is our. Cuba has done it. Lots of cheers from the Cubans. And uh, some healthy, polite clapping from uh, the Aziri crowd who have witnessed uh, a very special man here in Erislandi Sabo.
We've seen him box at the super heavyweight weight category before with a little more muscle on. Slim down though. He doesn't seem to have lost too much of his power and certainly is lightning quick in the heavyweight category. Well, we still have lots of great bouts to look forward to tomorrow. Some brilliant Cubans to come as well. Two double world champions as they lead 3 2 in the overnight position. Vetia taking a win. There, Gurbanov managed to pull it back. Then Lopez, 2-1 to the Cubans. Gadzaliev managing to nick it back to 2-2 over Toledo. And now 3-2 at the end of the night, thanks to Erislandi Savon. Please follow us on worldseriesboxing.com. Catch us on Twitter. That's it from me, Colin Bryce. Thank you very much to Will Vanders. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.